So, Steve, if you could just talk us through um, some of the conditions that you have at the moment. Uh, osteoarthritis. Uh, I've got um, lung problems at the moment. Uh, emphysemia. I have a few problems with me breathing. Uh, and you wear a colostomy bag as well? I wear a colostomy bag, long term one. Since 19, uh, three years now. Uh, and there's a picture that, that we've seen that we're going to show our I've readers. I've lost a lot of weight. That was you just before Christmas, is that right? Yeah, that's down to six stone. Six stone. And, six and you, stone. You had pneumonia at the time, didn't you? Pneumonia. I still have a little bit of pneumonia at the moment. Yeah. Quite a lot of people have got pneumonia after, with this weather. Yeah. Uh, and just to point out, that picture, at that point, <coughs> you were technically judged to be fit for work, weren't you? Uh, more or less, yeah. You, you weren't. You, yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 No, it's yes. okay. It, you weren't entitled to to the ESA payments, were you? At that no. Point? No. Um, and you had to. You actually had to leave hospital to to fight the tribunal. Yeah. Um, how, how did that? How did that make you feel when you when you're that ill and you 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 being sort of judged that you should be out getting work? Out of breath. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, you, I don't think anyone should have to suffer that, uh, but. Suppose as to what they want, trying to find out if anyone's telling the truth or not. But you can only be as honest as you can be. And I've come out of hospital out of breath to get there and to speak my mind and tell them what yeah. was the problem was. And you've, you've you were obviously in in some trouble and looking around for help. You've come to this place, the Casa, in in Liverpool, which is a you know a community organisation. And they've helped you, and and the people here have, have supported you. Without somewhere like this, what what do you think would have happened? I tried many places. Uh, the government shut them down. Uh, this was uh, I got introduced to this, uh, and to, to Terry, uh, and he's done a hell of a lot for me. In fact, practically saved me me, me life. If he hadn't got me into hospital, I, as I say, I was down to six stone. His good wife's a nurse, and she's seen and said, I must get into hospital straight away. Uh, went to hospital, couldn't speak properly, couldn't stand, I had no muscles in my legs whatsoever. Uh, that, lost that much weight. Uh, so you think there's a good chance you, you wouldn't have survived? Lucky enough, the nurses in the Royal looked after me and yeah. got me back to being basically normal again. But it was, it was touch and go for a while, wasn't it? <laughs> It was touch and go yeah. at the beginning. If it, had, if it had stayed any longer in my own house, uh, I, I would have had prob great problems.